What's up guys and welcome to this video on electric circuits. It's question 7 of the 2019 IEB uh, exam. Okay, so it's on electric circuits. Let's get straight into the questions. So in the circuit represented below, the battery has an EMF of 15 volts and an unknown internal resistance shown there as R. Uh, V1 is connected across the battery and V2 is connected across an open switch. The resistance of the ammeter is negligible. Okay, so question 7.1.1. Okay, so the switch is open. So it's in the configuration that we see here. So it says define potential difference. Okay, so potential difference is the work done per unit. Of positive charge. Okay, so it's a simple definition and we get two marks for that. Okay, so 7.1.2 uh, determine the reading of voltmeter V1. Okay, so this circuit is open, so basically it's reading the voltage between uh, the two cables connecting it, and that would be this voltage right there. Okay, so that is our voltage of our. Uh, cell or EMF of our battery, which is 15 volts. 7.1.3 says determine the reading of voltmeter V2. Okay, so basically it wants us to give the reading that we see across this. Okay, but remember this circuit is open, right? So we have a um, open circuit here. So basically what it means is this is the same because there's no change in, there's no resistance here because there's no current flowing, right? So that means we can move this cable back here. There's no current flowing through this ammeter or anything, so this cable can move here. So it's the same as having V2 across that right there, and that means that the voltage between them is again 15 volts once again, because there's no current running through any of these cables. Uh, any of these resistors and any of the cables. So it's just like we connected V2 across the um, battery again. Okay, cool stuff. And we get ourselves six marks in total. Okay, 7.1.4. Okay, so we have the switch is now closed, so we have a closed circuit. Okay, um, the reading on the voltmeter one drops to 10. So V1 is 10,5 volts. Use a suitable equation to explain why the reading V1 drops. Okay, so if we go to our formula sheet, we can see that the equation we draw is V1 is equal to the EMF of the cell minus I times R. Okay, so when the circuit was open, so let's say open circuit, no current was going, so I was equal to zero. Okay, so when we have a closed circuit, um, I is not equal to, or let's say I is greater than zero, therefore this component right here increases, so IR goes up, and therefore V1 must go down, because EMF is a constant. Okay. So it's basically equal to a constant minus IR. For an open circuit, IR equals zero, so it's just equal to the constant. When uh, the circuit is closed, I goes up, causing V to go down, because we have a constant number minus IR, okay? So that's the equation and that's the explanation. Now if we want to write that, so we can basically say um, that's the equation we use. So as the switch is closed, I increases, so more, uh, so more, uh, so there are, or there is more lost faults. Okay. Um, okay, and we get ourselves three marks for that, and 
Okay, so calculate the effective resistance of the parallel circuit. Okay, so we care about this parallel circuit right here. So we can say 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over, let's say this is R1, and this is R2, and this is R3. Uh, so it's 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, which is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. So we can solve this for R parallel, and we get a value of 4 ohms. Okay, so if you wanted to draw a bit of an equivalent circuit, it would look something like this. So we have one ohm there, we have a voltmeter, we have four ohms here, uh, and we have our battery. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and the reading across the battery is 10,5, and we have 15 volts. Uh, the cell is 15 volts, okay? So question 7.1.6 um, says, calculate the reading of the ammeter, okay? So we can use the equivalent circuit. So if we look at this circuit right here, uh, let's see. If we look at that circuit right there, we can say that V is equal to I times R. Our total, we know what our V is, it's that voltage um, across V1, so it's 10,5 is equal to our I times our R total. Our R total is now 4 plus 1 ohm because it is in parallel. Okay, and we can solve for I, I is equal to 2,1 units of amps. Okay, and we get ourselves 3 marks. 7.1.7 7, uh, says calculate the internal resistance of the battery. Okay, so we can use that equation we used before. So V1 is equal to the EMF minus I times R. So V1 is 10,5 is equal to 15 minus 2,1 times small r, which is our internal resistance. And if we solve for R, we get 2,1. One for units of ohms. Okay, so we've solved for the internal resistance and we get ourselves three marks for that. Okay, so question 7.2 An electrician needs to replace a bulb that has a voltage V is equal to 220 volt supply. Unfortunately, the only working bulb uh, in stock is rated with a voltage equal to 50. Okay, so this is the supply, voltage supply. Voltage equals 50, so the volt of the bulb, and the power of the bulb is equal to 100 watts. Okay, so it says calculate the resistance of the 50, okay, so 7.2.1, we want to calculate the resistance, okay? We know the power and we know the voltage of the bulb, so we can use the equation power equals voltage squared over resistance. We know the power is 100, we know the voltage is 50 uh, over R, so we can just solve for R and we get that R is equal to 25 ohms. Okay, so we know that the resistance is equal to 25 ohms. And we get ourselves three marks for that. Question 7.2.2 says, calculate the current that should flow through the working bulb. Okay, so we want the current. Um, again, we know um, that the rating, so we're working with the rating here because it says uh, the current that should flow, so we're working with the rating values. Okay, so again, we can use the equation P equals a VI. Okay, we know that the power is 100. We know that the voltage is 50. So we just need to solve for I. So I is equal to 2 units of amps. Okay, um, you can also try this question using the equation P equals I squared R, which we just calculated, or even V equals IR. Okay, everything should give the same answer of one amp, I mean two amps, okay. Then it says, uh, the electrician uses the fifth, uh, 50 volts, 100 
white light bulb and connects a resistor in series a resistor in series with the light bulb to ensure that the bulb operates at the correct rating when connected to the 220 volt supply okay so basically what it's saying is that we have a 220 volt supply but our bulb only uses 50 volts right so we need to work out um, what resistor we need to add in series so that the um, resistor the bulb doesn't blow by getting too much voltage okay so we can use the simple equation V equals R I'm going to say R total because what this okay so what should the resistor be so this is the resistor that we add um, and it's in series so R total times I we know that the supply is 220 volts is equal to R total is going to be our R for our bulb which was 25 plus the additional resistor times the current okay the current that we calculated through the bulb because everything is in series so basically what we have here is some voltage supply 220 um, Okay, then we have some res some resistor getting added in series. Okay, actually, I think you guys draw resistors like that. And we have our bulb. So everything is added in series. So we know that the current needs to be 2. Um, we know that that's the voltage. And we know that this is 25 ohms. So the total resistance in series is going to be 25 plus R. The current in the entire circuit is 2, and the voltage supply is 220. There's only one unknown, which is R. So we solve for R, and we get R is equal to 85 ohms. So basically, we need to have an 85 ohm resistor in series so that um, the bulb can function as it was intended to. Okay, cool stuff guys, and we get three marks for that, giving us a total of 27. So again, not a very difficult question, um, if you work through it slowly and systematically. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful, and thanks for watching.